What I'd like to do here is analyze one of my favorite illustrations by one of my favorite illustrators, Harvey Dunn. This particular illustration is titled, uh, The Prairie is My Garden. Harvey Dunn was a uh, student of Howard Pyle, classmate of N.C. Wyeth, and then became the instructor of the great Dean Cornwell. What I'd like to do with this painting is um, look at it in, in uh, um, three um, aspects. Vantage point, focal point, uh, and composition. Vantage point. The vantage point in this particular painting is in the upper third, right along the horizon line. Easy because of the subject matter of this flat prairie land. Because the vantage point is right in here, we're at the eye level of this child, so we tend to identify with this child. The mother, if you notice, is well above the horizon line, the eye level, or vantage point, uh, however you want to describe that. It runs just below her, her bust, right along her waist, which puts her, um, which makes us look up at her, really giving her a position of strength. Uh, so she, she really kind of uh, uh, takes on a heroic uh, pose uh, in this particular uh, uh, composition because of uh, the vantage point. Also, the focal point. Um, we go right here, right where Harvey Dunn wants us to go. Why do we go there? Because of contrast between dark and light, because of hue saturation, because of implied line. Uh, we also have the river creating almost an arrow that directs us to uh, that place uh, in the composition. And also the horizon line uh, brings us to uh, the focal point. So great use of vantage point. What I, how I like to define vantage point is how we look at something. And then uh, focal point is what we look at. So again, great use of vantage point to really make the mother, the main subject, um, very heroic. Uh, and focal point to drive us to uh, this particular place uh, within the composition. Now composition. Great composition in the sense of uh, it really goes with that rule of thirds. The mother is occupying basically this, this upper uh, third. So the rule of thirds or the tool of thirds really applies well uh, in this particular composition. Also, uh, it's a triangular composition. What the triangular composition does is, is it keeps us moving in and around the uh, uh, the three figures, the main point of the composition. Even though she's looking off camera, uh, the triangle keeps us moving around the composition. Also, uh, what the triangle does, the triangle is a, a symbol of strength. And where is she occupying that space in the triangle? She's occupying it at the right angle of the triangle. Uh, again, signifying uh, strength and stability. Sh the mother also really kind of takes on a triangular uh, position. So again, reinforcing uh, strength. So how does vantage point, focal point, and composition reinforce this narrative? Well, the story here is, is it's a prairie environment, very harsh living conditions. And what is the mother doing? The mother is picking wildflowers to bring home in this very harsh environment to domesticate uh, this particular place. So he's really communicating this aspect of strength and beauty. Again, Harvey Dunn's ideal woman was the prairie woman. So the, the vantage point uh, reinforces strength. The composition reinforces sh strength. Uh, uh, and so uh, look at the, the daughter. The daughter is of an age where she's also starting to mimic that position uh, of the mother. This child is still young, still kind of oblivious. Uh, it's kind of like the ages of my kids right now. Uh, I have one that uh, one boy that's starting to imitate daddy and the other one that just kind of bebops around, uh, oblivious to everything that's going on around him. The mother's position is very protective, okay? Holding shears, looking off camera, very protective uh, of, of the children. Uh, so again, uh, it really, the, the composition, the vantage point, the focal point, all reinforce uh, this particular narrative 
uh, that Harvey Dunn is trying to get across. This is really important to us because these are our visual tools. It's our visual language. The better we understand our visual language, the better communicators uh, we become. And that is why it's important that, that we understand vantage point, we understand focal point, we understand composition, we understand value, we understand color, we understand line, uh, we understand hue saturation, we understand all of these things because the, this is our visual language. And the better we understand the visual language, again, the better visual communicators uh, we become.